So we decided to transform my backyard into a tropical oasis. And it was kind of funny because as we were sitting there talking about what the first project should be, we both knew that we always wanted to build a koi pond. And we both knew that that was exactly what we were going to build. So we transformed an unused backyard space into our own private paradise. So here we go. The top five reasons why you should build a koi pond. So a fair warning before you begin your pond build. If you like plants, you are gonna grow to like become some kind of a plant connoisseur. And as for rocks, be prepared to become like the rock guru. Okay, so with my little disclaimer done, here's the first reason why you should get a koi pond. Number one. Koi ponds have been said to be the perfect stress reliever. According to the American Institute of Health, 77% of people report experiencing extreme stress in their lives. And 33% of people report experiencing stress that affects them both physically and mentally. That is enough right there for you to get a koi pond. There's no way to describe the peace and tranquility that you could achieve by sitting next to a koi pond and just watching the fish. Anyone who's ever had goldfish or tropical fish as pets knows how relaxing it is to sit next to your tank and just watch the fish and just stress just melts away. You have a koi pond in a nice sitting area, grab a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or both and enjoy your day. Just sit there, relax, chill, and you'll be surprised how much better you feel when it's all said and done. Not to mention if you own a koi pond, it's like the perfect spot to sit and catch up on a good book. If you like reading like I do, it's the perfect place. I don't care how busy I am, I try to find at least 30 minutes out of the day or every other day to sit by the koi pond and relax. Mental health is one of the most important aspects of our lives. That brings me to number two, which is it improves your landscape and can actually add value to your home. The idea is to carve out your own oasis in the privacy of your own backyard. I mean, for me, it's the, I, I prefer the backyard. Some people I've seen with their ponds in the front yard. I mean, hey, if it works for you, cool. But me personally, I love the privacy that the backyard brings. And if you want to have a, you know, barbecue or whatever else, it's awesome. Great Pondscapes posted that owning a koi pond on your property can actually increase the marketability of your property by giving your property an amenity that most other homes may not have. Koi ponds are seen as sophisticated and exotic and will probably leave a long lasting impression on potential home buyers. I like the fact that the water is ever changing, the landscape is ever changing, uh, the plants you put around it is ever changing. It gives you a, a, the opportunity to expand your gardening knowledge, I would say also. Which brings us to number three. Number three. The build is not that difficult and the upkeep and maintenance isn't either. Lots of people think that it's a difficult build, but honestly it takes, for me, it took about a week. For others I've seen beautiful landscapes take maybe two weeks. I've seen backyard paradises created in a few short weeks. I mean, incredible. One of the things I really love about owning a koi pond is that these guys are really independent and virtually hands-off. In fact, one of the most common questions I get is, What do you do when it rains? Well, as far as for the rainy season, we added an overflow pipe to the pond, and whenever the rain gets up to a certain level, it actually takes the excess water out along the pipe to the street, and it hits the drain, which is like, luckily right in the front of my yard, and takes it away. And the other one is, 
What do you do when it snows? These koi and goldfish are from Asia. And being from Asia, they're used to that type of weather and can actually be frozen over solid and return to normal after the snow has melted away. So check this out. This was during, I think it was January or February 2021, during the big ice over in Texas. And my pond froze over and you can literally see the fish <laughs> under the ice swimming happily and living normal. In fact, at, at one point they were actually frozen in place. I would say for about a day or two. And when it melted over, everything just returned to normal. They started being real mobile again and their appetites came back and boom. So as far as maintenance goes for the actual pond, during the summer, most people do a drain and clean. I have definitely not done it yet. It, the pond is immaculate in my opinion. I don't think it needs it. Uh, but as far as every other month, I would do a like filter maintenance that's like taking it out cleaning it up making sure nothing's jammed up or stuck in there and filter cleaning every few weeks so again it's low maintenance not really much to do so yeah the project is definitely not as involved and as difficult as you may think grab a friend or do it yourself get some bears and start digging because you don't finish if you don't start so uh, for what you get from this project, it really isn't that much work. Which brings us number to number four, four, which is your pond is gonna attract all manners of nature. Nature is cool if you're a nature lover. In fact, if you weren't a nature lover, you probably wouldn't be building a koi pond in the first place. Now I'll have to admit that at first, I did not make the connection between the drop in my mosquito population and my pond. Like most people, I was under the impression that having a pond might give me more work where mosquitoes were concerned. But to my delight and surprise, having a koi pond attracts tens of thousands of dragonflies, which I later found out was like the natural enemy of mosquitoes. So I did some research and found out that while mosquitoes prey on us, dragonflies prey on them. As a matter of fact, I read that one dragonfly eats up to 200 mosquitoes per day. Not to mention that I added a few other species of fish to my pond like mosquito fish and wild molly which also eat mosquito larvae. So basically whatever the dragonflies didn't eat, those fish would be bound to catch. So on a given day, I see birds, bathing, bees, um, dragonflies, like I mentioned, um, some wasp, um, spiders, and other little things that I have no idea what they are, but I know they're doing some good. <laughs> and for number, number five, five, koi make wonderful pets. Koi are said to be super intelligent and full of personality. They are also very friendly and most dogs love koi. Again, they are super low maintenance. Once your koi becomes acclimated to your pond, they will actually follow you around the pond and even eat from your hands. And probably best of all, it's been said that they can even learn their own names. So there you have it, the top five reasons why you should build a koi pond. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. And remember, you can make it.